YouTube, what's good? I was just about to lock in and make the thumbnail for my um Maison Chateau Rouge 2 video. Um the video is done. Yeah, the video is done. <laughs> and I can actually upload it to YouTube, but before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and make the thumbnail and I'ma help, you know what I'm saying, help other guys and help other content creators on the come up out with their thumbnails too if you like the style that I do. I think mine look pretty cool and honestly I've been I've been pulling pretty pretty decent views. Views been a little bit better since I've been spicing up my thumbnails and went on to pay for uh Photoshop and got to it so I'm gonna try to help y'all out with that as well as soon as I get my sponsor banner out of the way. Yep, got it. So boom starting off with our picture right and I got a couple different pictures um i'm swapping out the laces and all that but you know what i'm saying i'm just show y'all how i do my basic thumbnails for my sneaker videos we'll get it cracking from that way and let me start actually start from the beginning so bang <laughs> let's get our picture in right that was the picture i was using i'm gonna go over here to select and this is a photoshop tutorial um if we get this video to a thousand likes, bro, I'll show y'all how to do it on the telephone. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, because I started off making my thumbnails on the telephone. And honestly, they don't look any different from Photoshop. Well, the Photoshop kind of look a little bit better because I got more control. But yep, let's, um, let's go ahead and highlight ourselves into the picture. I got a little highlighted to a little bigger, so we're gonna take our day, but we're gonna highlight ourselves into the picture, our legs, and deselect everything outside of our legs. Bring it on in, bring it on in, bring it on in. Probably got my tool a little big, yeah, it is. So, yeah. Trick is to getting it neat as possible. You get it close and as neat as you want it to but I think I'm just about good I'm just about good I'm gonna clean up on the back of my leg in between this tree get all that out of there and put that back we'll leave a little bit just a little bit um check the heel of the shoe that look good can clean this up just a little clean it up just a little. That look right. Clean up this bottom. And it would go OD. But we just highlight that back in. For the most part, the whole shoe's highlighted. Got a little cloud in there right there. Get it up out of there. So boom. Everything's highlighted, right? Before I mask it, I'm gonna duplicate the layer. Make a copy layer. Then copy layer is there, but we still on our highlighted masked layer. Select and mask. And it's pretty much just gonna crop it out and make a cutout. And you're gonna see why I make a cutout a little later. If we um if you see that's the highlight right there. You know what I'm saying? That's our cutout, so let's put everything back. And then what I usually do right here, I lock the base layer and drag it in between the old pay, <laughs> that old old pay. Knock that down a little bit. That look, that look fairly decent. And then too, click on it, make sure it's highlighted, hit the effects tab and give it a gradient overlay. This actually look Fire. I done made up a couple of overlays that work. Being that the color of the shoe, let's look at the oranges. Play with some of the overlays closer to the shoe. And you see all in all, it look decent. It ain't bad, but yeah. I feel like my little stock joint to get it done. 
this stop won't get a gun done for the effect that I'm looking for. So pretty much got a background. It, it looked pretty cool. I mean, for real, for real, you can go ahead and drop your text right now. Like, you know what I'm saying? So-and-so on foot, da-da-da-da-da. But that's how I get my cool looking backgrounds and all that. But we'll take it a step further, get to this. Throw a drop shadow on there, make it pop out a little more. And a soft outer glow. Throw a soft outer glow on it. And to help that glow make it make it crazy a little bit. Just to make the glow pop. We'll click on that base layer. Click down here. Add another layer. Get to our paintbrush tool. I double clicked it for no reason, but we'll get to our paintbrush tool. And find us. Let, let's make it pop yellow. Yeah, we'll make it pop yellow. We'll make the glow around it kind of yellow, you know? We get down here, see what the sizing is. Turn the OK to like 35 and just lightly trace around it to give your shoe the glowing effect. We just hit the shoe. Boom. It's actually pretty fire. That's actually pretty fire. Switch it again, give it a little white, and we make the circle small. And that's how I give my shoes, or just give off that glowing effect. And we'll actually take the white up to the sock. Bring it down. Make sure we're in a little closer. And yeah, just mix that in. Walk, 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 walk. Click it in. Looking good, looking good. Now, I know a lot of professionals, what a lot of professionals would do, they would take the smudge tool at this point and kind of smudge it in just a little. They'll trace outside and smudge it in. I kind of like how it do when you pop it around. Like, I kind of like how it look unsmudged, but just to give y'all a professional, you know what I'm saying, the highest quality possible on your thumb, we'll go ahead and just to give it a light smudge. Light smudgering, you know what I mean? Light smudgering, that too serious. Close around the toe, and bam, the shoe is glowing on our foot, bro. You know what I'm saying? We're actually glowing right now. Uh, a little bit more smudging over here. But yeah, we're actually glowing right now. And what I'm going to do, since I'm adding more sneakers and I'm adding more, um, I'm doing different laces. The theme of the video is how all of the laces look. I'm going to add a pretty much a cutout of the on foot with the different laces and just paste it all over this pretty much but at this point at this part is where you would add your text um get freaky with your text whatever font you want to use air jordan to on foot you know what i mean you can play with your text however you want to Bam! This is already a crazy thumbnail. Like, I could use this and be all the way Gucci. That's all the way good right there. I figure I could get me a couple views with this. See what the outer glow, drop shadow. Just the drop shadow, no outer glow. That's pretty spiffy, boy. And yeah, man. This is how I normally make my basic on foot thumbnails you know what i'm saying um feel free to go back check it out you know what i'm saying use my format and the same thing how i did it like on photoshop you can apply the same technique pretty much to a mobile app and get the same effect but yeah bro you know what i'm saying if y'all want more advanced tutorials definitely let me know but this one right here this just the basic you know what i'm saying just to spice y'all thumbnails up i know y'all probably need a little help with that you know what i'm saying 
I definitely needed this video when I first started dropping sneaker videos and wanted cooler thumbnails myself. So, hope this joint helped. You know what I'm saying? And if it do, definitely drop a like. And yeah, I catch y'all on the next one with a more advanced tutorial because that's what I'm about to do. I'm kind of I'm about to jazz it up a little bit so I can make sure I display what I'm trying to display with the, you know what I'm saying, with my title of the video. <laughs> catch y'all on the next one. Peace.